A'udzu billahi minasyaitonir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil mursalin Muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Last week we did about Yeah, how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the ummah, right? And and this is quite amazing because what this the thing that stands out for me is how he reserved the dua to for us in the hereafter. All the prophets, all the prophets has had already had their share of dua. So remember, all the prophets are given one dua. Allah will answer the dua. Nuh alayhi salam made a dua to wipe this. Uh, the, the, the disbelievers is finished, mm -hmm. right? Make dua to all to destroy all the disbelievers, which is true. Allah answered the dua. Mm -hmm. It's quite how difficult is it to imagine, right? That the whole world was flooded. The whole world was flooded. Only the one that was survived was the ark. No halas, because he made dua, Ya Allah, destroy all the disbelievers, right? And then we had the dua of Musa alayhi salam, right? Who asked Allah to not to make the Pharaoh uh, repent, and the repentance even then won't be accepted, which is true, and the dua was answered. And then we dua Ibrahim alayhi salam, what, what Ibrahim made dua? Uh, many people come to the Kaaba and send the To send the Prophet. Right in Surah number two, verse number one to nine, if not mistaken, right? Rabbana wa ba'athihim rasulna minum yatlu alayhim ayatika wa yu'allimuhum mulkita wa hikma yuzak inna ka'antan azizul hakim, right? This is two, let me just correct myself. In verse number one to nine, yes. Our Lord sent amongst them a messenger of their own who shall recite unto them your verses and instruct them in his book yeah, and purify them verily you are the ultimate all That is why one of the reasons why we are, you, are, you may be wondering, right? Why of all the prophets, we, when we do a tashahud after that, the dua we say dua to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Because of this, because he made dua to us, to Allah, to ask Allah to send a prophet to us. And Allah did send the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's why we said uh, the tashahud. We mentioned Ibrahim alayhi salam's name after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah. Um, and what else? Sulaiman alayhi salam. Wealth and power that has never been given to anybody else, and it will never be given to anybody else if Allah answered. Can you imagine Subhanallah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would reserve that dua for all of us? Why are all of us, uh, most of us, what do we, why would our sins not be forgiven? Muhammad, right? Yeah. Yes. Very far away, sorry, Naim. <laughs> why Allah is ar rahman ar rahim Why Allah would not forgive our sins? That we need the intercession of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? Sorry, what is your name? Uh, Hamid. 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 Amin. I got confused. No? Just there was Iman, yeah. Amin. I was <laughs> three times got confused. Amin, right? Why do you think Allah may not forgive our sins? Uh, if we are not sincere no. in, uh, in our repentance, Yes, of course. One of them is that we do not fulfill the, the conditions of repentance, right? So, which is what are the conditions of repentance again? Uh, being sincere, sincere. Uh, not uh, reproducing, making it, not doing it again. Intention not to do it again. Thirdly, that you don't feel regretful, right? Then you all may not accept your, your repentance. Yeah. That may be one of the case, but more more than that, why would Allah not forgive our sins? You read in the Quran, "Qul ya ibadi al-ladin asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmati la inna Allah yaqfuru dunuba jamia inna wal ghafur rahim." Oh my slaves, see my slaves who transgress against themselves, do not despair of the mercy of Allah, for Allah forgive all sins. He is indeed often forgiving the most. Allah, Allah forgive all sins, but why people still need the intercession of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Uh, because they sin against others. Yes. 
most of us will have problems because we had sins against others. Be it backbiting, now social media, right? Raising, right? Just share, share, share. Your share set, send to others. Can you imagine? If your share, you share something which is wrong and send to thousands of people, that's it, you know, everything goes to you. Yeah. And that is the horrible thing about social media. So don't share things, even though amongst your prime minister, amongst King Charles, whatever it is, that it, it, it may not be true at the end of the day, right? You're just re receiving on the internet about things that may not be true, right? So the sins against others, when, when Allah said, I'm, I'm going to forgive all sins, yes, this is between sins between us and Allah. If I don't pray, if I don't fast, it's between me and Allah, agreed? Mm -hmm. But if I lend you money, or you borrow from me money and all this, and it's not returned, right? We'll be accountable to Allah, mm -hmm. right? Those who are cheating and lying, right? If, if, if I am a builder, right? You saw, let's say I built your house. Right? And I didn't do a good job. I cannot say to Allah, Allah, forgive my sins because I shortcut and all this. It is between me and Allah. It's between me and Allah. So it is important that we understand this. Right? If I'm a lawyer, right? Not if I'm, I am a lawyer, right? When my clients come to me and I don't handle the cases properly, not because of anything else but because I'm just I have too many clients right I'm accountable to the person right it's not enough for me to say Ya Allah uh, forgive me for my sins and this is important that we realize a lot of times when the next topic right talking about halal income and all this this part of the halal thing see? when I said <laughs> when I said next does it mean next next right so in a sense that this is part of the halal thing is true which a lot of people would fall into Problem with this. If you are a teacher, for example, right, and you don't teach properly, you you pay you're paid to teach, but instead of teaching, you you have you seen the mo the movie the what horrible teacher? Someone like, what's the name? Yes. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a horrible boss. Yes. No, no. But a teacher who's who teach horribly and all this. I don't know. It's a movie in a way. So he, all he did, he come in the room switch on the video and they said you know and the children something like that so and 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 this is important that we realize right on the day of judgment when we talk about accountability a lot of things are accountable a lot a lot it's not just about we yes, have miss one salah uh you backbite one person it's not just about that many things that we do that is it is important that we keep into account our deeds as i said we talked about what is what's the word in Arabic? Al Muhasaba, which means to keep into account everything. So Al Muhasaba, when is it done? You saw? Anything. When 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 would you do? Have you have we ever sit down and say, okay, let's see what we have done for the week? Of course. It's very important, isn't it? We do it at all times, right? Perhaps I didn't read the Quran properly. Perhaps today I didn't do my salah for sure. Perhaps Many things, uh, and and also you need to keep account. Perhaps I typed two lies. Perhaps I did this at the end. Some arts called it agatha, means major waste of time. Yes. Major, but this is bad, and they remind us they got agatha, agatha, agatha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is this is how um, on the day of judgment, um, a lot of us will need the help of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to intercede when alhamdulillah he has reserved that dua special dua which Allah will um, grant 100% to him inshallah right and the dua is for Allah to grant us mercy that means as you know from hadith right any one of us no matter how horrible we are as long as we don't commit any acts of shirk as long as you say your kalimah la ilaha illallah, you will enter Jannah. Isn't it true? Agreed? Mm -hmm. Any one of us. Yes. Innovation. Yes, but innovations, you will enter Jannah, but it may not be permanent. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm not talking about, yes, because some people, some Muslims, I hate to say this, will enter hellfire to be purified. But that may not be forever. 
But the difficult thing about you and I know Indonesian culture, right? You guys are so full of shirik, <laughs> right? It's true, right? You you dis disagree with me? Yes. See, a lot Malaysians, right? They go to the grave or they they have this uh, myth about these um, guardians of the sea, right? Mm -hmm. Guardians of the sea. That means a, that means in a sea there's a guardian, so you need to be good to them. They offer food to them and all this, right? Even well, so-called Muslims, right? And then um, in events, for example, when the volcano erupted, the king, one of the kings of the Yogyakarta, one of the cities, will command the people to sacrifice an animal to throw into the crater. It's not uncommon, right? Kraton itself. Kraton is this uh, royal family, right? Complete full of shirik. Whenever, when, when, whenever, whenever I went to the Indonesian University to give a talk, I always commented about their statues and all this because they are so proud. Of this place called Bali. Bali is a place where they look. It's a place where people resort and all this. There's, there's the promotion. There's Indonesia for them, right? But it's full of shirik. Bali is a land of Hindus. Right? A lot of. Uh, 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 what do you call it? These people go to have different costumes, they change, they feed the, uh, the, the statues and many things. People all go to it because very, very colorful event. Yeah. Um, so this is how it is in many countries. It seems that why is it difficult to uh, gavel people that people who do not commit shit? Why is it so difficult? And not only that, because people have this lack of knowledge of Tawheed. A lot. People think that prayer is just about. Pray. Yes, pray. It's not about praise, fasting. That's about it. But Tawheed, brothers, I said before so many times, even for me, if I were to say, I'm a lawyer, if you do not know this, right? The reason why he's able to say in this country is because of me. I'm finished. Yeah. This is shirk. The reason why you are able to do whatever things you do in a security in, the, in on the internet is because of me. Yes, Which is a lot of people are doing it, isn't it true? Mm -hmm. Whether consciously or unconsciously, it doesn't matter. The fact that we lack this thing called tawheed knowledge of tawheed is that's why a lot of people are committing this shirk, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Brothers, there's no such thing as good luck. Agree? For me personally, if saying good luck is an act of shirk, mm -hmm. because you say that other than Allah, something else will happen nah. without anybody's will. I think it can just happen, good luck. How can you say good luck? There's no chance good luck in Islam. Rather than that, why don't you just say, may Allah make it easy for you? Even for me, um, yeah, even for non I, I say all the best, may, may it be easy for you, right? And very important, right? that we understand is, right? In fact, I remember, as I told yesterday, but this one of my clients, very, we went to court, very difficult case, alhamdulillah, for the first time, we won the case, never won the case. Nobody else won the case before, right? One of the very first cases. I was so annoyed, and she said, what did she say? Oh, thank you, Jesus, for making this work, make, making me, I will thank you. I said, no, right? There's only one God. Thank God himself. Said, yeah, 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 she said that. Thank God for this happened. And you do, you do need to be annoyed when some people are actually making others as more important than Allah. The Greek, literally annoyed, right? Your culture, right? What did you, what did you guys do in uh, Easter, right? They, they, everybody, right, would carry these eggs on the basket. Everybody, whether you dress like a gangster or whatever, they go to, they, they, it's quite funny, you know, people were wearing all these like gangster with all those jackets on it. When they went, went to the uh, church in order to get these eggs blessed, everybody carrying an egg in the basket, everybody. And this, I don't know where they, they get all this on. Surely it's not from Islam, it's not 100%. Right? Now, this is something in which connection is lost. What happened? Yes. No, it's still, it's still connected. Is it connected? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, alhamdulillah. They just put the correction loss. Okay, so 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 therefore, brothers, right? We we do need to know how to uh, be able to show our love to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? Because as Allah said, "Wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin," right? We should raise this. We should raise this. Wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin. No, how can we do two? You heard about this, right? Of course, right? You would know about this, right? The verse, you know this, yeah? You know, yeah? In surah number 21, right? In verse number 107, right? And we have sent you, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah? As, not but as a mercy for the alamin. Why is the mercy? Because with the rival Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? Any one of us, you and me, committing sins. We may not be punished then. Then, agreed. In the previous nations, what happened to Nuh alayhi salam? Punished. Because, and, but Allah will always send a messenger first to remind them, right? What what punishment did they give? I mean, Nuh alayhi salam. Flooding. The whole world flood, except those in the ark. Yeah, because they disobeyed Allah, mostly about shirk, right? After Nuh was was what nation in the Quran? Uh, yes, Hud, Ad. Yet, what happened to them? So, what is the punishment? Yeah. Turned upside down. No, no, that is uh, LGBT. Hood. 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 You say Hood, right? Yeah, Hood. Yeah. yeah, Hood. What is the punishment of Allah? He sent a horrible gust of wind, like a hurricane. How long? Uh, it was four, three, four nights, seven nights and eight days. Yeah, so merciful. Right. Allah, <laughs> seven nights, eight days. It's even worse. Can you imagine a few, few seconds or a few minutes of in, in tornadoes in America? Finish all the houses. This is seven nights, eight days in Surah 69, right? And then after, after Ad will be which nation? Thamud, which prophet? Saleh. Right. What was the punishment? It was the earthquake. Earthquake, uh, according to another, is how they interpret it. Like, is it like like a, a sound, or is it? And in night, it just died, just like that, right? Um, um, and so this is regarding Thamud, right? After Thamud would be. Um, oh, no, it was I. Oh, Shuaim. Shuaim. Madian. Madian. Yeah. What did they do? Um, cheating. Cheating and lying. Is it true? You're not from, you're from Morocco. Algeria. <laughs> Algeria, okay. I want to say because they're three Algerians here. Yeah, he's going to start a mountain. That's right. Because it's not even there. They're going to visit the mountains. <laughs> uh, so, yes, um, they cheat and lie. There's a main thing, right? Well, what is it that you can buy over again? Professional Weight money? and... It's very simple, in the market, right? When you buy oh, things. Oh, you mean the, um, I, the sook? Yeah. The sook, yeah. So I remember, right? I, I, I have birds in my gardens now, right? So when I buy on Amazon, so birds okay. coming, parrots, I don't know where they come, parrots coming in my, my garden. Anyway, I didn't have lunch. So okay. I give them food, right? All, every day. So I have to buy. So in this tub, the tub is five liters. Five liters of tub. Right, but they say it's five kilo. You need five is five kilo, but by the time you fill up the tub, got all these holes there, it's less than five lit, five kilos. But the agreement was five kilos. So, but when I so when I buy uh, another packet, weight five kilos, and I fill up into the tub, it has more excess. That means you are cheating me. You agree because the tub is five liters. It's not five kilos. You should just say five liters. And this is a cheating, right? So, for example, when in, some Muslims also sell these um, perfumes, isn't it true? Yes. Right? So, either they fill up a little bit less, or 
they dilute it with water and all this. Or people will sell zam zam and they put water to the zam zam. It's all cheating and lying, right? Many Muslim countries, right? People are doing this. Long time. How's dunya? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so all this punish other punishments, which nation which we didn't mention, we just said just now, Lot, right? Who, how many people believe in Lot? Alayhi yes. Salam. Yeah, Only his family, right? Yeah, Only the girls, right? Except his wife. Except his wife. Yeah, Lot Alayhi Salam, the family. Lut was the cousin of Ibrahim al yeah. right? Um, other other nations that we know, uh, Musa, Musa salam, yeah. right? Uh, with the Pharaoh, right? Mm. So many nations, but with the arrival of Muhammad salam, which one? Uh, yes, yeah, okay. yeah. So many many things, right? But most important thing that we know with the arrival of Muhammad salam, all of us or most of us are spared from punishment. In fact, Allah has a name. What is the name of Allah meaning in English meaning meaning forbearing? Al Halim. Al Halim. Al Halim is one of the amazing names. That means Halim. you can you can you can do whatever you want. But in general, most of us will as all will wait for you and me to come back to him. Look at uh, things which I have highlighted to you in the social media, right? In the WhatsApp group. Somebody who just in the hospital. That was an amazing video. A man who works in the supermarket. He took shahada without anybody prompting him. Just yes. and yes. and he just as a, as a old guy. Yeah. Worked, uh, supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. Not one. Well, that night, same day. Yeah, same day yeah. same he day died. died same day he died. Same day he died, and he. What, did, was, what didn't you see our videos? Sorry? What didn't you see our videos? <laughs> it's not the nonsense, you know? No, I mean, it was on my phone. So, what time did you send that? What time I was driving on? Yeah, yeah. Not just a few days ago. Anyway, the important thing is that for all you know, it can be a mushrikeen, right? Worshipping, but at that point of death, and the way he said, you can see how sincere he was, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't matter what it, whatever it is, as long as the soul is not at the throat, inshallah, Allah, uh, can you imagine at the point of time, his sins are, he is like, like a baby, and he died on the same day, on a Friday. What is the reward of dying on a Friday? Not really, but... He is a sign of a good death, as a good person. Uh, he, he is the, it's a sign of Husn uh, Khotima, but more importantly, that he will not be punished in the grave. If you die on Friday? Yes. What about Monday as well? Not Monday, Fridays. Because I usually prefer Fridays and Mondays together, don't you, or something like that? Because someone was born on Monday, wasn't he? And died on Monday. No, I'm just saying, I don't know, I'm asking a question. No, it's Fridays. Okay. Yeah. Mondays and Thursdays is the fasting. But they also. Yeah, just like that. Just, I'm asking, I'm not saying, I'm asking. <laughs> yes. I'm saying, they also mentioned something about on Monday as well, don't they? No. Like Monday. Monday, Monday, Maybe the English, but not others. <laughs> okay, uh, Fridays, right, is, is a sign. One of my, uh, again, we are going to talk about when we go to the grave, right? I was I was helping somebody to die. You helping someone to die? Yes, I was informed somebody is going to die of cancer. So I went to see him in one of the luxurious hospice. Which he couldn't enjoy himself, of course, right? Doesn't matter because he started lying on the bed and his face all changed completely, right? And he died on a Friday morning, two o'clock. I called Intias, the brother who's going to talk to us about this. Alhamdulillah, by three o'clock the same day, buried. Three o'clock the same day, he was buried in the gardens of peace, right? So again, this is Allah's plan. You do not know what is Allah's plan to for you and me. Right, the sister just now in our class, before this, we have a sister's class. Right, just told me she went to for Umrah last October, and at that hotel, that one of the Umrah mates died in the hotel. 
in front of everybody, they tried to resuscitate her and she didn't, she didn't wake up. And Alhamdulillah, we've done in Mecca, how amazing. Even my dua, my tahajud, I always make dua to Allah to make me die in Mecca. And the video you sent with the man in Indonesia as well. Which one? The, the man, he's like, oh, yeah, he was giving. And then he goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just gone. That's that, that, that is, that, that is, a, that, 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 for me, that is a, the, the clearest video, because usually videos are quite hazy, from far, but this is so near, he was giving a talk. And you can hear, you see, brothers, when the angel of death comes, right? The soul comes from the feet and goes up, and the whole, and there is the sound of your soul going yeah, out. Of the body. Yeah, yeah. And then he went back and looked, and he went like yeah. that. He went yeah. straight up the sky. Yeah. It's like he was shook. And and these these yeah, are the right. things in which we, <laughs> brothers, we should remind ourselves, right? I mean, right? You are sixteen, but that doesn't mean you're going to leave until tomorrow. And this is important that we remind ourselves, right? We, we might die tomorrow. And therefore, we should prepare ourselves to face Allah. As I said, I was in the, I was in the military in Singapore, right? But every year they will call us up. They appeared on a screen, I don't know, the blue coat, there's blue sky, green bird, whatever they and by when the code comes out, within one hour, we must a report with our things ready, right? Our bags of equipment ready. And this is how we should be, isn't it true? Everything must be ready. Where is our bag? Where is our deeds and all this? All must be ready. Yeah, what did Allah say? Faman kanya yaritu liqa arabihi. Who's that? It's annoying, you know. Wife's calling See, second wife. <laughs> 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 فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُو لِقَوْا رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَلِحَا وَلَا يُخْرِجْ بِعِبَادَةَ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا Which surah is this? Al-Kaf You recite every Friday, didn't you? Right? In the last verse Whoever hopes for the meeting with his Rob What must we do? So we will meet with our Lord With Allah What must we do? Two things, right? What? Do good righteous deeds. And the next one, Salam. Now you, you told me this one's in Poland. He's not in Poland. His English is not very good, so it's okay. Excuse him. He's laughing, he's not cheeky. 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 Okay, so whoever hopes for the meeting with, with his Rob, with his our Lord, what must he do? Good deeds, you said. Good deeds. Secondly? Uh, no. no. This is the, I just you said this. Is, what is it? No. What was that question? Oh, you should. Yeah, you should. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We should what we talked about, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Make dua to Allah to forgive all of us. And all of us will enter Jannah. Whether it is after punishment in hellfire, we make we are not among these people, but or directly we enter Jannah. Right? But those who commit shirk, is there any hope? No hope at all. No hope at all. Which surah is? Which surah that Allah would not forgive shirk? Surah number four, right? Turn to surah number four, verse number one, one six, right? Surah number four, and also another one in verse number forty-eight, also. So let, let's look one one six. Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrik bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna thalik li ma yasha wa ma yushrik billahi faqad dalla dalla lamba'ida. Which means verily Allah does not forgive sins in partners with Him. But he forgives whom he wills sins other than that, and whoever sets upon us in worship with Allah has indeed strayed far away. Right? So shirk. That's why we discussed before just now, right? It seems easy, isn't it true? Mm -hmm. But if you know about Tawheed, it's huge things, right? The Chinese believe in red, very, very lucky number. Um, eight, eight, eight. Even in Muslim countries, right? I don't know whether you notice this. Most hotels they don't have 
Number 13 floor. 13. 13? Yeah, it's actually superstitious. Even the fourth floor, I don't think they have. Why four? Why? Yeah, I think in China, the. Uh, one, two, three, yeah, eight, four, five, yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Too? But but it is as it is, right? If you if you believe in that, my I know my my colleague is uh what is I give him Quran anyway, I don't know what he is. She is sorry. And she refused to send letters on on a Friday the thirteenth. So you know the superstition, right? I mean, do you have superstition in Algeria? Uh, Oh, Alhamdulillah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Afghanistan, right? No Afghanistan, anyway. They don't they, they don't wash clothes on or they don't dry the clothes on Thursday or Tuesday, one of the days, right? Superstition. Yeah, superstition, right? Yeah, and there's there's love and Chinese, of course, but Chinese especially have all this yin and yang, right? Positive, negative forces, and completely all this are shirk. Yes. What about like children going out after Margaret? Is that also a superstition? No, there's a hadith actually. But do you know the hadith, right? Mm -hmm. That actually we should close the, close the doors and windows. Is is hadith? Yes. Yeah, just to protect the house from the yeah. Yeah. evils of the night. Yes. So. Yeah, uh, because we discussed this now, but going out is something just just because to protect the house, right? Right, brothers. Do you, do you, even do you say Batman? Even Batman things don't happen at night, is it true? What? Batman. Yeah. Only things happen at night, is it true? Mm. Batman. You don't see things happening in the day mm. because Batman. Batman. Yeah. Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Batman. 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 the movie. Yeah. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, because he comes out to defend the night. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, the evil things all happen at night, yeah. right? What, that's an Indonesian, they got that. No, 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 no. Things happen at night, that's his thing. What do you put in your string? What do they call it, Chad? That is not our culture, that is his culture. His culture is Somalia, and his culture, Yemen. No, that, that, the cat, right? Chad. Oh, the ones that Yeah, his culture is Somalia and Yemen. Right? Okay, so, so this is important because the fact that Muhammad's brothers, remember the hadith, that Muhammad so wanted to meet all of us. Why? Because we are his beloved. Yeah. And the companions are quite upset, but I thought you are your beloved. No, you are just a companion. Yeah. Beloved are those who have not seen me. They will come after you, but they believe in me. In fact, we get, we'll get blessings of seven times compared to the, because we haven't seen that we still believe. It's quite difficult. That's a, that's a topic for today. How to love the world, how to love somebody whom we have never seen before. It's quite difficult, you know, it's not as easy as it is, right? Because, and this is sometimes, I'm, I'm quite irritated by some people, right? They call us as Quranis. How dare you? You believe only in the Quran, right? Where's Prophet Muhammad Hassan who suffered so much? Allah gave him everything for the sake of Islam, yeah? and yet you don't respect him and you think the Quran is the only thing you need to follow. Mm -hmm. What about many other verses in the Quran about Ati Allah wa Ati Rasul? It comes hand in hand. Your shahada will never be, never be accepted if you just say La ilaha illallah. But surely when you die, when you die, should we say it together or should we say just like like Allah? Yes, because it's understood. Because why is it only single? Because it's only one I know, but why we do not say Shadda Allah Muhammad Rasulullah? Because it's not time. Yeah, it's quite difficult. Because the way the Rasul told us. Yes. Uh, yes, because when you say like like Allah, it's only from the tongue. It's the easiest thing. When Muhammad is living in lips, it's quite difficult for a person who is dying. Have we, have we had the experience before of dying? Uh, half and half. Okay. <laughs> Tell me later. <laughs> yes, uh, if you're Quranist, how yes. can you pray if you don't believe in yeah. the Quran? Yes. So they did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But it's, called, it's growing, you know, the Quran is. The number is growing. Yeah. Indonesia and all the people. Um, even some of my students, they become Quranist. Wow. Hmm? Not me, I didn't teach them, right? <laughs> <laughs> They become Quranis, and remember one one of the reverts. Subhanallah, he was with me all the time. He was when I was working in Leicester Square. Right? He was always waiting at the at the receptionist, 
in the Quran, if you need the Quran with me and all this. And then, gone. And but, it's also has the Tahrir as well. Yeah. It's Mutahir. Yeah, they, they believe, they don't believe the, the one is not chain. So, for example, the, in so the Hadith, Bukhari, yeah. where Umar al Khattab only stated and only him stated that that yeah, man yeah. came from the desert dressed yeah, in yeah, white. Yeah. They don't, so they're basically calling Umar a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to be careful. So, how could you be denominated? It doesn't yeah. make no sense. Anyway, yeah. so Sunni. Like the Shia, 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 he was, I don't know, it used to be very popular. They have this mosque every time they go to the Haitians. This is Mutahir. This is Mutahir. Where, where's that mosque? This mosque. This mosque. They're yeah. here. They used to come on every Saturday, unofficial. They have this gathering in the place where we sit, but towards the back. No, no there is the Harold Mosque. Oh, it's Manolong. Yeah. The basement there. Basement. The basement. The basement. The basement. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They want the Khilafah. In the UK. That's the only thing. And despite the fact they don't know, know about the deen, they just want the Khilafah. Khilafah is, takes time, inshallah. Yeah. We all want Khilafah in the long run, inshallah. Right? But how can you have Khilafah when many people don't even know how to pray properly? We'll you agree? Right? Khilafah will come, inshallah, mm -hmm. when all of us right, are praying properly, on time, know the deen well. No shirk, inshallah. It will come. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Remember, the, the Khilafah was was of if you count properly right how many years was the khilafah from at least 1300 years around there, from beginning to now from Muhammad until now right it's only 100 years is 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 no no more it will come inshallah but we need to improve ourselves if it's finished in the the turkish the last that's caliph right what did allah say allah will not change the conditions of the people we don't change ourselves so how can we have Khilafah? We need to have Khilafah because we need to have one voice. We need to have Islam, right? How can we have the Pope with the Catholics? Islam don't have any Popes because these, these Muslim Ummah are so divided. We need somebody, inshallah, whom we all support. Very important, right? But you know, Saudis, Yemen are off away from it, right? They, have, they, they will never support it because they want their own wealth. You guys increase. No, you are the Saudis. You're Saudis, right? I'm Yemen. <laughs> they really okay. yeah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, the one with the good, good akhlaq. Now, now Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Tamiya Rahimullah say, listen to this, the reason why it is obligatory to love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and venerate him more than any other person is that we cannot attain the greatest good in this world or in the hereafter except at the hands of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by believing in him and following him. You agree? As you said just now, right? How can we do anything without the hadith, what he said? He, con he tells us everything from, the, from, 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 a, from A to Z. Everything that we do is through Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he sacrificed so much because of us, isn't it? And Ummah, and even on the Day of Judgment, when all of us will say, Ya Nafsi Nafsi, he would say, Ya Ummati, Ya Ummati. My nation, man, he's also worried for us. Yeah, in, in, in fact, when he would be distributing, inshallah, for us the, uh, the cups for the Al Kawthar, he would give us personally. So, inshallah. everything, inshallah. And, and he even personally, right? But don't commit acts of innovations. You'll be chased away by the angels. You will never come near the uh, Al Kawthar. What is Al Kawthar? Is a pond. Right, which is according to some narrations is square in shape. The distance on one end to another is from Sana'a to Damascus. Right? In the pond is as much which is Arabic? Yes. And it is in, in the pond is as, as many cups as you see, there's a stars in the sky. Right? And the water is cool, smell nice and mask. And you will drink from it, inshallah. And when you drink, you won't feel thirsty at all. Remember that their judgment is 50,000 years. Yeah, there's no other water. There's no this water, there's no coffee, there's nothing else except the pond of alcohol. Some people are getting questions for years and years. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's a long journey. We did before in our class, right? In the AICC, right? But they are judgment. Yeah. Long, long journey. Yeah. Before the entry into the, the gate of Jannah. Long journey. That's why we did need our bags of good goodies, or good deeds in this life. And that's which most of us are ignoring. Rather, we want to be on a TikTok video. You have TikTok movie? TikTok movie? No, Alhamdulillah. What social media do you have? I mean, I don't use like Oh, Alhamdulillah. Stay Keep away. it that way. Inshallah. Don't Just be like some of these people. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Um. So, so we discussed last week. Why? Why I need to bring all this back? We need to know why we need to love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right. So, how do we show our love to him? Yes, of course. The first thing, right? Following Sunnah doesn't mean to celebrate his birthday, right? <laughs> Do you celebrate the Prophet's birthday? Happy Indonesians, of course. Don't, yeah. don't see anything at all to the nations, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Who sang that? Pakistanis. They sang the... He's looking for now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not here, right? Um, yeah, so the most important thing, of course, to show Allah for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is to um, follow the Sunnah. Right, so now must be brothers. Always remember, did you did you read about the things? Because yesterday when I well, I was talking yesterday, right, in another class, I mean, about that it is not authentic hadith when somebody is born to do the adhan. No, it's right, it's a weak hadith. And I did, I said, I give all the evidence from uh, Sheikh Al Bani, and I give the video from Sheikh Asim saying that everything is not authentic, right? Now. These people studied Islam all their life. Agree? I don't study Islam like that. I don't know anything. Right? I just read and get Allah's guidance, and that's about it. Right? But these people, you should respect their opinion, is it true? And follow. Yes? Just can you repeat that? I'll say uh, the Adam for the. Now, it, now it, for the newborn baby. Yes, no, you say. It is a common practice. Which all these scholars were doing before, right? Yes. To advise people when somebody is born, do the adhan on the ear. Yes. Which everybody is doing it. Yes. Now these scholars, Sheikh Al Bani and all this, has done all this research to say that the chains of narrations are weak. So we sh he, if if weak, and some of them they said actually you can do it because the other collaborations. They make it strong, it's okay, but they say it's so weak that we shouldn't do it. Right? And this is a this is opinion which all of us must follow, inshallah. Because they study the chains. Because you see, when this these scholars study the, the chains of narrations, it's as if they know them like you and me. You agree? They know by name, they know everything, what they do, their life, their wives, and all this. It's how they, they study the, the chains. Right? So now, when you have a newborn, right? Should you do it? No, because then you may fall into this acts of innovation. You agree? Yes, it. yes. because this, are, this, this is not the imam That's in this mosque. Imam, this is a huge shift. <laughs> has has found this, right? And and you, we do need to take into consideration. Right, and if you still do it on a day of judgment, you are prevented from drinking the al kawthar Then you deserve it, isn't it true? Yeah. Sorry to say this, right? Because you fail to follow the advice. Yeah. Okay. Questions, uh, Chris. Question. Questions. Now we're just talking about the uh, the adhan. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, well, uh, no. because you have a uh, lot of people. Uh, yes, of course. I, I, did, I didn't say there wasn't any hadith. There's, there's hadith. But for me, I think it's, it's uh, sunnah, but I, I don't see uh, the, the hadith for... Because you and I, I'm included, of course. Yeah. We just know the hadith, isn't it true? Mm -hmm. There is a hadith. But the hadith is weak. Ah, yes. And this, 
scholars, they say, very, uh, uh, if you have you read what I yes. put in the book, well, I should come in a very, say very clear who is weak and very weak in all this, yes. right? And you must take this into consideration. Is is like for example, let's say let's say all of us sahaba, right? Let's say, right? And then Usama has produced something which is very dodgy, right? And then Gawal never come for how many days, how many weeks, months it dis disappeared, right? Then suddenly the hadith narrated this goes to Usama, go to Gawal and comes to somebody else and being reported. People would know because this the, the scholars had it, they know exactly who Gawal and Usama is, exactly they know who they are. Whatever things they have to produce that is very uh, unreliable, they know. And this is the, the, the science of hadith is like that. I do not know because I just follow who I trust, isn't it, bro? Mm -hmm. Right? So, and very important to and follow. Take, take the date for the... Yeah, this is okay. It's technique, isn't it, bro? Yes. Tachnik. Yes. Yeah. The date. Uh, yeah, then soften the dates. And yes. I, know, I know what you mean. Yes. And then, yes. Right. Stuff Nick, and then it's you shape, shape, the shape the hair and, and weigh. Oh, yes, okay. it's true. But the Adam is not the uh, Adam, no. Okay. Right? Sometimes, some of the things that I did in the past, it's shocking that actually it's not true. We celebrated uh, Maulid last time, Astaghfirullah. You know what I mean? That's the one thing that we also practiced that I realized. See when the babies are born, yes, uh, they look for someone to take them outside first time. It's, uh, I know it's not authentic, yeah. yeah. So, see uh, who like my culture, okay. So, when the baby, our Somalians, born, yeah, yes. So, when the baby's born, yes, they look for someone that is good in terms of religion and everything, yes, and they put a Quran on, on the chest uh, and then take you outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very this is this is this is like the uh, how the Catholics do the baptism, isn't it? Sure, putting all these water. Yes, sure, sure, of course. Yeah. Do you know what the toilet is? Uh, the Bulo area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yes. The it's not the same. Uh, the person did uh, after fourteen uh, days. Yes. The family uh, gather together. Gather together to to, to uh, say Quran. Say Quran to eat the. Uh, I mean, it's bid'ah. I think. No, the one that is not bid'ah is the akika. It's not. No akika. Akika. Yes, I. You know, sacrifice a sheep. Yeah. Yes. 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 You should be on, on the seventh day or fourteenth day and all this. Yes, but if the uh, we have the person is dead. Yes. We don't, uh, it's not okay to celebrate for 14 days after. Not 14 uh, days, but Akika, yes. Akika is the slot. You know the Akika? Yes. The slot of the sheep. So if, if it's a boy, how many how many sheep? Two. Two. If a girl, one. It is a sunnah. Yes, but if person dead, you are not happy now. Sorry? Well, the, 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 you have the person day, dead. Today? It wasn't dead. Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dead. Okay, yes, of course. Yes, no, 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 Yes. Does it, have, does it have to be slaughtered or can you just go to the butchers and then feed everyone? You know? Yeah, okay. I, we can go overseas and feed the poor and all this. But uh, it's still part of that thing, all right? Yes. But it's make sure it's seven days, 14 days, and all this. Just buying the sheep. Sorry, 14 days. If you can't afford seven days, 14 days in that order. So now it's seven days. You name your child on the seventh day. So that means that the baby is born today. Today is the first day. So come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe on a Friday, right? Then you do the akika and you do the name of the baby. This is sunnah. Oh, yeah. on that seventh day. Seven day, yes. Okay. We can do a secret name, of course, but seven day. You can't do it before, no? It's sunnah. It's up to you. Sunnah means you can do it before. And then you feed for the people, man. Yes. But it has to be four people. Or can it be anyone? Anyone. Yeah, it's not included. It's not you. It's not, you. <laughs> it's not put a band. Okay. Now. Um, loving Allah, 
We call it is a hub fitr, which is, that means it is natural love. Is it true? Even those people who don't believe in Allah, they always say, "Oh my God!" Yeah? The God always always come out. But now, loving Muhammad sallallahu is is called hub ikhtiar. That means you need to make the effort to love the Prophet sallallahu It doesn't come like that. Agree? I can't. You just you need to learn the sunnah and all the hub ikhtiar, hub love. Right? In, in order to get the love, you need to bring an effort. And it's quite important to understand it. It doesn't come just like that. You need to make the effort to do it. And we're going to go to it quickly about um, how to love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Right? As, as you said just now, the first thing is to pull the sunnah. What is the surah? Pull in kuntu. Yeah. Pull in kuntu. Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, if you love Allah, then follow me and show that Allah will love you and uh, no. forgive you of your sins. And Allah is often forgiving the most merciful, right? And it's quite important to understand this. Follow the ways of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Not follow the ways of your culture, your ancestors, right? You must do this, right? Sorry? 331. Right, 331. And this is important. If you want to gain Allah's love, right, gain His forgiveness, then follow the ways of Prophet. Okay. Um, so always remember now, brothers, would the Prophet do things according to what he thinks it is? No. He will never. Anything that he do must come from Allah. Must. Right? That's why when he made a mistake, Allah will immediately well, tell him off. Right? In the Quran, very clearly, right? He made a few mistakes. Allah told him off immediately. That he shouldn't do this, 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 this. Right? Even there was uh dua. I can't the secular dua. The Sahaba was saying, use the word Rasul. Then Muhammad said, No, no Rasul, Nabi. Because Rasul and Nabi is different. Right? Nabi is Prophet. Rasul is? Messenger. What's the difference? Prophet is by himself and messenger is the market to the power. Almost there. A prophet is someone who the Allah guided and made a responsible person. A messenger is someone who's to give the message out from Allah. So in a sense, a messenger will, will receive new revelations. And spread it to people. And spread. The, the prophets just pass their old revelations. But there was only four, wasn't there? Five. Five. Five main messengers. That was not messenger. There's a war. Yeah, but, but in a sense that um, we're talking about five main messengers. Okay. What's the five main messengers? Nuh and Hassan first. Ibrahim. Musa. Yes, I mean. Of course, Zabur is a, is, is, is a messenger. Yes. But I'm talking about the ones who pass a message. The main messengers are the five ones. Musa, yeah. Yes. Okay? Sorry? Oh. The five names, are they, they have a name? Five I can't remember. Yeah? Church. Yes. Sorry? He was given the Zabur, but how come he wasn't given the title messenger? Was there any clear explanation behind that? No. Why? Well, Allah. Yeah? <laughs> now, um, okay, so this is the first thing, right? Um, in order for all of us to increase our love for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we do need, do need to follow the Sunnah very closely. Great. And again, let's discuss as a revision. Why do we do the Sunnah again? Besides earning Allah's love, what, why do we do a Sunnah? Yeah, but what, what is the Hadith Qudsi? To get more reward and more good deed. What is Hadith Qudsi? What did Allah say when, when I did, when the uh, my seven is Allah obligatory asked, deeds? Uh, he will become the eyes that we see, the hand that yes. we use, the earth that we hear. Yeah, so when, when a seven does an obligatory deed, I will love him. When he did uh, uh, voluntary deeds, I will love him even more that I will become the eyes that he sees, ears that he hears, and the hands and feet that he uses. That means Allah will guide us when we do the sunnah. Yeah, so this is, this is important why we do the sunnah. Other things? Uh, 
and make of them like why we perform that was five times because we want Allah to put for us a house and uh, for that. Other other rewards, yeah. But more importantly, it is to compensate mm, yeah. for our the praise, for example, oh, yeah. right? But don't forget, brothers, we discussed it for many times, right? And I have to say loudly, right? The compensation for obligatory deeds that you have done that may not be perfect is only for the praise. I.e., if you have not been doing fasting, when did we? When did the angels record on our deeds? Six hours after. Six no, no, when, at what age? Oh, from when we From Balir. Uh -huh. Puberty, that means at 13, 14 and all this. So, let's say you're not practicing and you start to practice only when you are 20. So, you have seven years of gap and you have not been doing the fasting, right? Now, the hadith about patching up the missing things is only for prayers. Never find any hadith about fasting. Prophet never said at all. So most scholars say that you have not fast for us. You need to compensate the fasting for every year that you have missed. Same thing as your zakat, right? If that means you have not paid zakat for about how many years? Seven, eight years. Then you need to compensate for it as best as you can. Then the rest do your sadaqah. Of course, we cannot do no exactly, but try to do it. It's quite important to understand this, All right? So only for salah, you can compensate. So again, this is where maybe your culture, I know Malaysian to do this, right? The, the missing prayers, what did they do? I think Isha, they always pray that, let's say they miss about one year of prayers. They pray the missing prayers every day. That is not in any hadith, right? Because the hadith is very clear, right? And the, on the day of judgment, Allah will look at the, uh, when the angels look at this person in the dead body, Allah asks, of the angels, how was his obligatory prayers? The angel answered, yes, he did some, but he missed some. And then Allah asked, how, well, how was his voluntary prayer? And the angels said, he did some voluntary prayers. And Allah with his mercy said, patch up the missing obligatory prayers with the sunnah prayers. Isn't it true? This hadith is very clear, authentic, inshallah. But that only goes for the salah, not for anything. Right? So, remember, we said just now about accountability. We will be accountable to Allah. Right? For the reverse, alhamdulillah, right? Allah said, La yukallifullahu nafsan illa wuzaha. Allah will, will not judge a person beyond his scope. So of course, you, some people may take time to do the prayers, isn't true? Not today, you take shahadah, tomorrow you pray five times a day. Some people take six months, one year, Allah knows best. You do not need to make up for missing things. But once you say a shahada, right? You do need to start fasting the next year, whatever it is. Yeah? Of your uh, to, to complete your deen, inshallah. Yeah. Now, so secondly, so the first one is to do your sunnah, right? In order to show your love for Prophet Muhammad. Secondly, we should realize the high status of which Allah has raised him, for he is the best of mankind, right? Uh, Abu Hurairah said that Prophet Muhammad said, I will be the leader of mankind on the day of resurrection, and the first whose grave will be opened, the first to intercede, and the first to be asked to intercede. We need to know how amazing the position of Prophet Muhammad on the day of judgment, especially for intercession. And therefore we do need, when we know this, we know that we should love him. How much we should love Prophet Muhammad More than, our More than we love ourselves. And that, that's quite amazing. It's quite difficult, isn't it? True? Because most of us love ourselves, of course. Most of us even love our parents a lot. But that's why you can see the Sahaba always say, may, may my parents be sacrificed for you. And this, quite, this, yeah. <laughs> this is quite amazing because you know, they already sacrificed their parents yeah, because of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because of course, they are, they are different because they have met Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right? They, 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 it is part and parcel of their life. Can you imagine? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is like a leader that, that he can never run away from everybody. They will follow him. They will, in the market, he would be there. In the house, he would be there. They will, they will hound him all the time. One day he, he disappeared. Where did he go? No. No. He went to the cave? No, he went to the well. There's one hadith. Oh, and then right? the walk turned up. Because <laughs> <Then Omar turned laughs> so, everybody, can you imagine? He, every, he's like a celebrity because everyone would be near him to know what's new things to be led. Then he just disappeared. Everybody <laughs> know where he's sitting. One by one, is there, right? 
this is where the and they predict the uh, company would die by about nine and a half. Yeah, so so in the sense that people come and then they will be these are the ten people who have promised Jannah by Allah. And you know, one by one came, right? In that order. So the closest friend who was so yes, okay. right? And this is amazing. Right? I don't get it. Uh, I don't oh, so, so he disappeared, right? <laughs> and when once the Prophet disappeared, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, everybody wanted to know where he went. And he just was sitting by the well. And then suddenly Abu Bakr came and then to him. And Abu Bakr, uh, 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 he said to Abu Bakr, uh, give glad tidings paradise. I mean, he's promised paradise. Then he sat down. The next person came, was who? Omar. Mm -hmm. Then the person was? Uthman. Mm -hmm. Then uh, in that order, then the rest came, about 10 people. Right? And this is how amazing he, he was. Everybody was looking for him at all times. It's quite tiring, you know? It's like 24 hours a day, major celebrity, uh, like, you know, the paparazzi. <laughs> Hounding, <laughs> hounding him all the time. But alhamdulillah, right? Uh, so the third thing that we, in order to love Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we do need to realize how much he suffered, a lot. You, what was your lunch today? Uh, the, I didn't have lunch. Yeah, the tuna cheese. Yes, What did you have for breakfast? I didn't have breakfast. Yes, no, no, no. What did you have your dinner last day? Uh, dinner was. Now, why I'm asking this, right? Abdul Aziz, the household of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu they don't have much food. Yes, at all. Yeah? yeah, yeah. And not only that, yeah, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi would always see seen with it, no. with a belt and a no. stone. When when he was seen with it, that means hasn't he has not eaten for days. You're talking about our beloved Prophet Sallallahu in which, well, that's why, um, was it Abu Bakr Omar was crying when he saw him sleeping down, sleeping at the mat, isn't it true? And his body, all this got all these marks of the mat, because, and they were saying, they were saying to him that, Ya Rasulullah, the king of Caesars are living in palaces and all this, but you are living like this. What did he answer? Them be happy in this life. Like so let, let them enjoy their things in this life. You will enjoy it in the hereafter. It's quite a good thing that to, to know, isn't it? Like right? No. Made in the hadith. I do not know. Right? So so this is how it is, right? Abu Bakr and Umar they're the same thing, right? There was, there was one time that they were going out, they were very hungry, right? So they went so <laughs> So, so they went out and everybody was out. Can you imagine Abu Bakr was very rich, super rich, but he gave all his wealth yeah, to the poor. And then he went out and everybody, everybody got this uh, string on the, um, on the stomach, right? What happened? What is, what's the rest of the story? They went to the market to find food. Yes, the yes. Well, other one of this, they found, oh, got yeah. no food. Then what happened? Then he, he lifted up his shirt and he showed rocks under his stomach. Yeah, so what happened in the end? So at the end, um, they, found a, they found a Sahaba yes. who mm -hmm. gave them food. And not uh, who, who has, uh, well, slaughtering the fresh meat for them. Yeah, yeah. And, then? and then he said to them, um, this we accounted for this. For what? For, you, for the pleasure that Allah has given today. Yeah. So... Um, Which surah is this? I don't know. I just heard a, a story here. Which surah? Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is Surah. I think I think is one zero four, right? Sorry. Uh, no, no. At Takathur, is it true? No, no. Is it Takathur? The last last verse. Yes. So, ثُمَّ لَا تُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ Yet, on that day you shall be asked about the delight. So, you may think that delight is just about, okay, your car, which you need, the Albanians to clean the car, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not, right? 
Have you seen this car? No, it's quite amazing. Nothing, but I've seen this car. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I have it to clean, inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's not about your new house, your new career. It's every simple thing. Alhamdulillah, you give me this. I'll be asked by Allah. Am I grateful to Allah? Right? And always be asked by Allah. How grateful are you? Most of us are ungrateful, isn't it true? Mm-hmm. Most of us are not grateful. We take things for granted. So, so knowing the sacrifice of this, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is important, right? That we we love him. I, I'm sure if you read the whole uh, what call story of Muhammad Sallallahu how how he suffered in Taif, right? In Taif, you will be in tears. How he was abused, by not by adults, but children. You know, they're just throwing stones at him, right? So he suffered so much. Even in in the and he is one of those who. He was those people who took part in battles. Today's commanders, where did they? Are they in big palaces, big houses? He took part in battle of the trench, right? He dig the trench himself. Uh, Khanda, yes, he dig the trench himself, right? And and again, they saw his uh, thing. They saw his uh, belt and the stone. What do you think of the stones? Now, the stones is an indication that they haven't eaten for days. Nobody knows why, perhaps with the weight of the stone, is the gravity, you feel that you have eaten. It's just a tradition in those days. And they, they were, but it is an indication you have not eaten for days. I'm not talking about you and me fasting for 18 hours in summer, no. The literally, once we fast, right, I mean, open up your fridge, there's always food there, right? McDonald's and all this, <laughs> right? It's always food in the house, but they are literally have no food. Remember, Prophet Muhammad came back one day and asked Aisha, Radanha, is there food in the house? And she said, no, we're not going to fast today. That was a hadith indication that you can, you can have, you can do the voluntary fast, even after Fajr bread, as long as you have not eaten the whole day, in the whole morning. Yeah. So this is how, when, when we look at the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu how simple it was, how much he suffered, it should in, invoke some love to us for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abdul Aziz, have you read the Sirah, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? In the process. Have you, have you cried? Yes. Have you read the Sirah? Did you cry? Have you read the Sirah? Yes. you cry? Have you read the Sirah? Have you read the Sirah? Have you read the Sirah? Have you read Amin, the Sirah? Okay. If, 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 if we read the Sirah, inshallah, if you don't cry, something must be wrong with your heart. Do you agree? If you don't cry, something must be wrong with your heart. Surely, even, even honestly, when I was preparing for this, this talk, you know, at home I was crying and I go, subhanAllah, like, you know, I'm just preparing this, you know, what about him who spent the whole life for the sake of Allah, for the sake of us, his ummah, whom he have never met, whom he longed to meet, and how can we not cry and love him, subhanAllah, right? So it is important for us to continue to put in effort, as I said, uh, but Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is hope, hope what? Ikhtiyar. Yeah. It's put in effort to love. It doesn't come just like that. Right? The next one, number four, right? Again, we should follow the examples of the companions who love him deeply. Yeah, they love him more than the world. If you look at the Battle of Uhud, for example, who protected him? Many people, is it true? Yes, right? Some of them, they lose their front teeth, right? Their two front teeth because they were trying to take out the his face was badly hit by the the helmet something go into the skin isn't it true? they lose it front teeth somebody was standing in front of him they they, they hit they hit him in the uh, chest and all this with the spears and with the arrows they died and when you look at him surely right you would want to be like them right as i said brothers another thing that you should and i should do we should read the story of the companions inshallah in order to because when you love the Sahaba, you love the companion, inshallah. And you love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, inshallah. Yeah? Um, now, the, the next one. As I said just now, all of us, brothers, right? 
Which Sira is the best to read? Yeah, which one? Sorry? In, in English. How you expect to read in Arabic? The Sira is the best. But a bit boring for some because a bit tedious. With quite detailed. If not, the split of the moon is it true? When the, moon, when the moon splits, right? Nowadays the books are free, is it true? On PDF. So just Google it. When the moon split, you should read this. Then you 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 will love Prophet Muhammad even more, right? Case have you read the Sira? Right. We should start to read, is it true? Right. Are you going to do it? I'm sorry. Are you going to do one? Not in the me immediate future. Okay, it's too long. Isn't it? yeah. <laughs> it's too long. You know what? He's been careful because he doesn't want to say he can do it. <laughs> Not only that, brothers. I think I'm, I'm quite I'm quite a sensitive person. It's quite traumatic. <laughs> no, and I prepare. It's quite traumatic, you know. No, because... actually, instead of just doing different topics, you can just do this a uh, every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it's a lot easier. And then no, I have to stop asking you. No, because oh, because when I prepare something, it's quite emotional, no? Uh, because you, it's easy. It's, 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 uh, it's it's like, even now, I'm crying now. Because you see his, his, his life, right? <laughs> now, number seven, send the salawat to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right? Why, why do we send... Blessings to Prophet Muhammad Why? Because he ordered the Sahaba Yeah, we get ten times the same thing as we do it. Yes. Not only that, more importantly, I think. Uh, I think. Okay, let, let's stop. Talk, think, let, let, let's stop talking about rewards, right? Mm -hmm. Right, but. I think in hadith from Ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, reported Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the people who will be nearest to me on the day of resurrection will be those who supplicate Allah more often for me. That is more important than having, I don't know, 100 rewards or whatever it is, right? We, we do want to be the nearest Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? inshallah. Allah will want to see him, inshallah. And this is, this is one of the greatest gifts. Besides, of course, the number one of us, seeing Allah, in paradise, right? We would want to be with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Would we be able to be with him? What, what must we do? Uh, and which surah in the Quran? Abdul Aziz? Oh. We discussed for a few times. Yes, yes. Did you say something? Um, no. 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 Hey, it's something, something like that. <laughs> take out, I think take out my notes. I have my notes in the, what's the question. The question was, firstly, would we be able to meet or to be with the Prophet Muhammad yes, yes. in Jannah? Yes. The next question, which hadith and which surah? Yes. Oh, the hadith, the hadith, the hadith, the hadith. Yes, yes, the hadith. Yes, yes. Where they said, they, they were a little sad and they said, why are you sad? And he said, because they said, we, you're going to go to Jannah and you're going to be in a different plane from us and we're not going to be able to see you. Yes. And then Allah sent down the ayah. Uh, that, hold on, let, let, me, let me add a little bit, okay? Because they say, I mean, right? Ya Rasulullah, we love you so much. Even when we go back to our families, we still think about you. You're never out away from my mind. But why we are sad is because when we die, right? You will be there with the prophets. We will be among ourselves. We cannot meet you. They were sad, completely devastated. So what did he say? He didn't say anything because how can he know? He didn't know. He didn't know anything until a verse was revealed. Is it also the uh, Anisa? Yes, verse 69. number sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Okay, let's look in Surah number four, verse number sixty-nine. Okay. وَمَا يُطِئِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولَةِ فَأُولَئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ and so, whosoever obey Allah and His Messenger, وسلم, and then they will be in the company of those whom Allah has bestowed His grace. Who are these? The prophets, the, the truthful ones, the martyrs, and the writers, and how excellent are these companions. Are. So, what must we do to be with the Prophet? Obey Allah, and the, obey Allah and the Messenger. Very important, right? For us to do this, then we can be in the companions. Difficult or easy? 
Difficult. Oh, yeah. Difficult. Your culture, your culture, all the innovations are coming in this room, right? Um, so it is important to break away from traditions. Why is it so difficult to break away from traditions, um, Usama? Why is it difficult to follow the Sunnah? Why is it difficult? As a, because it is not easy to break the culture. And if you do, they will say that you're doing so. Now they are in prison. In my, even in Malaysia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I know one of the sheikh, he went to prison because just because he said something, for example, you shouldn't have any, uh, what do you call it, um, after somebody died, as you said, right? Yasin. Yasin and all this, and he, he was in, went to prison. I just want to understand, because obviously so many coaches do it. Yeah. it where is that? Is there a weak hadith or something that kind of... No, shaitan, that? shaitan isn't it? We talk about traps of shaitan, right? Second trap of shaitan was innovation. innovation yes. Yeah, and no matter how much you tell them, nobody nobody will listen to you, right? And and this is where we know two things: guidance of Allah. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Quran. What is Quran again? Criteria to know what is right, what is wrong. How do you get Quran? Quran and hadith. After Allah, yeah, through Allah, yeah. Yeah, but in the Quran, what do you say? Which surah is this? Eight. Verse number 29. 29. So turn to 829. Where's the Quran? Did you for me? At least 829. Stop that. Okay. Oh, you truly believe if you have taqwa to Allah, you can call it for Quran. Is it easy? Yes. What is taqwa? I mean, good, right? That means at all times you're conscious, right? Am I doing thing? You would all be displeased with me if I smoke shisha? Can you smoke shisha? No. Do you smoke shisha? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're conscious, right? About about. Smoke shisha? Huh? Shisha? No, never. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> right? Okay. So for example, we go to Regent Park, right? It's quite hot, right? You lower a gaze or you just do, do this, uh, this, uh, this uh, right? She's got common, right? Chris? I don't know if it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> or going to work, sorry? Go to the park or go to the beach. Yeah. Yeah? Where people, uh, women are there, then you look here, look there, and you are in your speedos and all this. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. What is it? What is it? One look is enough. <laughs> One long look is enough. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> if, like, my accent is still that's enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course, the first one is like, yeah, can't help yeah, it, right? Yeah. Especially in summer, people in the, in the underground is so hot, people are taking out this kind of thing. So, yeah, but the first one is the only one you should know. But you right? shouldn't be taking longer. You should look like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a lowering the gaze, very important. It is in the Quran we discussed yesterday, all right? So, the, the salawat. How, what, uh, so the nearest to me, right? Can you imagine? The nearest to Prophet Muhammad are the one who get, who say the more salawat. When do you say this? When do you say the salawat? Oh, 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 oh. This is, this is first I'll be there for the day. <laughs> you, you were not there to defend yourself. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you need to watch this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when do we say I was the salawat? Fridays. Fridays. Yeah. Friday yeah. means from? Uh, from uh, Thursday. Thursday. No, no. Can you Monday, please Monday. Have, Monday. have this English? <laughs> <laughs> Thursday Maghrib to Friday before Maghrib, right? Yes. Say this salawat as much as possible. What do you say? Yeah, and Allah, 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 Allah can just Allah masalli wa sallim ala nabina Muhammad or in any order. You know, no, just speak English, whatever it is. You would get rich, rich him, inshallah. Yeah, and of course for your tashahud, right? You can say it in your salah. Right? Make dua. Yeah, when you make dua, why? Because it doesn't get Yeah, as part of the etiquette of Hindu, you say. I think there was a hadith when some of the companions came to the Prophet and they asked them, How much shall I make for you in my dua? Then he said, Quote, uh, then the Prophet uh, told him as much as you want. Then he said, Quarter. Then he said, As much as you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so whatever it is, say as much as we can. 
to send blessings to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Brothers, it's very important, right? As if you want to feel or love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi you need to send his blessings, right? Do you send blessings? Kestas, do you know how to send the blessings? Do you, know, do you know how to send the blessings to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Do you know how to do it? Yeah? Chris? I mean, I, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I know, but I'm not sure. No, no. You, you, so, you know, at the Tashahud, right? Yeah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala And all this, you can say this. Yeah. We do not know, right? But you should do, you should, shouldn't just do this in the Salah. You can do it outside the Salah. Oh, okay. Right? On Fridays. Especially on Fridays. Agree? Right? Oh, you, you can't do it. As I said, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Nabi Muhammad. Which I, I, I say that. Well, right? any time on the Friday? On Fridays, at any time. This is a Sunnah. Right? Gawo. So when you say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, does it count as well? No, it's not part of it. What is that? It is part of the hadith. What is the hadith? No. Almost there, but what is the hadith? That what happened written? Written? Yeah. If you do if you do not say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when the Prophet is mentioned. Okay. Um yeah, which one? Which hadith? Uh, I've heard that whenever the, the Prophet's name is mentioned, you should say Salah And which hadith? Bukhari? No, no. What's what the context of the hadith? Uh, you know? Chris? Yes. What hadith is this? I think it's when some people came to the Prophet and. No. You saw? What hadith that if you do not say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. Which one? No, you're very excited. I think uh, it was on Friday when he was going to the Mimbar. Yes. yes. So in the first uh, stage, he said Amin. Yes. Amin. Yes. Amin. What was the first Amin? Uh, Whoever <laughs> he wasn't on one of them, right? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, that I was think point. the first one about the <laughs> all of them now. Yeah, of course you yeah, need. Yeah, the first one about you the need one. to know the whole hadith. Is it true? It's one of the mother. No, first one was about Ramadan. Ramadan, yes. Yeah, then about. The no, no. What about, about Ramadan? So whoever was in Ramadan and uh, is uh, since is not forgiven. Yes. Then. He will enter hellfire yeah, and cast away forever. Can you imagine? If Ramadan is passed and your sins are not forgiven, you've been hellfire. And Muhammad said, I mean, because the, 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 the dua was made by Jibril, right? And then secondly, whoever have this uh, both parents are one of them and uh, he did not be beautiful to them, he would be in hellfire. Yes. And then, and then the last one, uh, whoever said the uh, the Prophet came and he did not send the blessing upon him. So again, uh, yes, so this is quite important. That's why you say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? Um, not really for this thing, yeah, because for that hadith, right? Um, so it is important, brothers, right, that we say, especially on Fridays, I can say it any end time, but especially on Fridays, right? So shall we do it, Chris? Yeah. Right? Don't forget, yeah, Fridays, yeah. We do need to say at all times from Maghrib Thursday night until before Maghrib on Friday, inshallah. Yeah. The last one, yeah, it is, and I also say in my own language, Ya Allah, increase my love of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in my dua, in my sujud, in my tashahud, in my before tashahud and all this. I say this all the time because I'm a human, right? I can't actually love somebody whom I have not met, right? So I ask Allah to increase my love for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Make dua to Allah. And it's quite important. Yeah? Questions, brothers? All right, so we actually covered two, two parts. Last week was about how Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how he loved his ummah. Now we talk about, so now, since he loved us, how would we uh, express our love? Or increase our love to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is extremely important, right? Another thing which we, we, we didn't mention, of course, right? As we are uh, all or most of us will require his shafa'ah or intercession on the day of judgment, what must we do? 
No? No. Uh, after the adhan. After the adhan. Allah SWT. Right? Allahumma rabbaha bihidat wa titamah wa salat al-qa'imah and so on. Yeah? So, so we, we do need to learn from this. Right? Um, Kastas, have you done this? Right? Dua after the adhan. Right? So, so try because you don't need to memorize. Right? Just take out your portraits of the Muslim. I will record down to our group. It's quite difficult to say actually. Um, but just take out your portraits and now to your dua book and say this dua after the adhan, inshallah. Yeah. Questions? I mean, how do you find a class today? Beneficial, inshallah. Uh, sorry. Is it beneficial for you? Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. I hope to see you again, inshallah. We are here on Thursdays. Thursdays in the main hall at six o'clock, and here on Saturdays, inshallah. Yeah. Any questions, brothers? Yawal. I still not be the baby, is it? I still not be the but the baby, right? <laughs> but the baby. I still not happy about that. I still not happy about that. That but the baby. Ah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, wait, yesterday when I talked to the brothers, everybody was not sure about, about the baby. <laughs> yes. Well, so, just for the last one, you were saying uh, uh, for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But on the head, it was not proceed to wait on the I, I, I can't understand, sorry. Yeah, the last point. Uh, yes. You, are saying, uh, you need to pray to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But in, in your presence, the hadith, uh, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, Amin, Amin, Amin. Yes. But on this hadith, all the time. But it's not precise on the Friday, you need to uh, pray uh, for the Prophet. Oh. That is another hadith. Yes. Ah, it's on the Different hadith, yes. Ah, yes. yes. Because, uh, on the, this hadith, they just uh, pray to Prophet. Not pray, yes. but, but send blessings yes. upon him. But you so have wh whenever somebody say Rasulullah or Muhammad uh, on the, the, the Prophet, Mm. We need to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yes. Okay. Listen, on that hadith, that particular hadith. Okay. If not, you be in hell fine. Okay. Right? But another hadith, right? We talked just now. What was the hadith, uh, Abdul Aziz? But saying Salawat. Not. <laughs> okay. I thought it was on Friday. Sorry? I thought it was on Friday. No, no. Well, no, no. There's, there's another hadith on Friday. But what happened if we say Salawat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Friday, we be cast into the hellfire. <laughs> no, he said the ones who don't. What? What if? No, what if we not? What? What if we send salawat? What do we get? Oh yeah, we be with the prophet. Yes, we we be with or uh, close to prophet. If you want to be closer to me, he said, send blessings to me. There's, there, there's another hadith, right? The blessings sent on a Friday. Yes. Okay. What was his name? Gawal. Question. So yes. Uh, so can you make like it's, you don't make a dua to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No sense. You, well, you don't make it to him. You don't. You don't ask him. You don't ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to intercede for you on the Day of Judgment, right? You don't ask him. You don't ask him, but you do it through the dua of the adhan. Yeah. You ask Allah to grant yeah. him the Because he cannot do anything. Remember, what, what is Ayatul Kursi? The, the, Man dhal ladhi yashma'u indahu illa bi'ithni. No one can intercede except his permission. By Allah's permission. Even though Muhammad has someone to intercede for me, if Allah said no, means no. No, you can't disappear. Sorry? Yeah, not Ali or anything like that. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's not your culture. <laughs> yes. So, so yes. So we don't. I mean, and this you can see that inshallah we go to Umrah, right? People are so in in front of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam grave. People are making so much dua. You make dua to Allah, not to Him, right? That is why it's, it's strange people do make dua to face the Prophet's grave and make dua. Why make we dua to him? Right? We have been taught very clearly about, about Islam how to send blessings to Prophet Muhammad. That's it. Right? He can never do anything to us. We make dua to Allah directly. 
Right, so then we or else we get confused with the Christianity who now they're worshiping Isa and Islam, isn't it true? Mm -hmm. Right, so we stick to what we have been taught. Okay, questions? Yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our love to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow all of us to meet him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be allowed to be given the al kawthar to drink. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our sins and shortcomings and grant all of us jannah to the firdaus. Wa astaghfirullah wa atiwa sumar afika rabbin inzata ma'asifun. Wa aslam alam salin wa alhamdulillah wa alami aslam wa rabbakatuh. Jazakum al-khan inshallah we see you next week for our next lesson. Yeah. I have another question.